I want to show you how to use the new Copic airbrush system. Uh, this is a, a really cool way of uh, painting, airbrushing, uh, very, very quickly with little to no mess. Uh, we do hard baits or soft baits with it. Uh, here we're just going to do this little uh, swim bait that I designed. Uh, it, it's a simple process. It uses an air compressor hooked up to this little gun. And all you do is you stick uh, the Copic pens into the gun and you're ready to start airbrushing. Let me show you how it works. When we're ready to switch colors, we simply take the marker out, pick up our next one, insert it into the gun, and we're ready to start spraying. The pens have a narrow and a wide tip to them. You can see one on both ends. Typically we always use a wider tip. Basically this creates a, a Venturi style air uh, flow that goes across the tip and draws the ink, the alcoholic ink, out of the pen. And that's how the pen works. Once we have our design, we're ready to let this dry before we dip it. And we're ready to do our next design. Another thing we can do is we can use the Aluma Dust in combination with the Copic, which can give you some really cool things. So say we wanted a more of a belly color. We could actually dust more of a pearl or a light yellow belly to it. Maybe come back with some more gold on the midsection. Add a little bit of brown in there. So now we have our Aluma Dust pearl and gold. Maybe we come back with a little bit of darker brown for the back of it using the Copic. We could paint the top of it for him. Using a piece of paper and X-Acto knife, we can simply cut out different fin shapes to use as a stencil. Once we have our lure, we can simply come back. Now if you use opaque colored lures rather than these translucent that I poured these swim baits out of, you'll get a completely different effect to it and the colors will be a lot darker. Let me show you an example of a, a bigger wiggly that I made. Here you can see the colors are more opaque because the belly color than the actual original color of the Alumasol was white. Let me show you a couple other examples. So Copic has a really quick and easy way of uh, refilling these markers. Uh, they do last a while, but you know when you paint a bunch of lures, you're going to run out of your favorite colors. And rather than going and spending the, the seven to eight dollars for a new marker, you can buy a refill kit for about the same price, and it'll fill the marker up close to ten times. Let me show you how easy it is to refill your favorites. You simply take both ends of the marker off, and then unscrew the refill kit. And all you do is simply drip the new ink into your marker. And you do this, they say, until uh, you feel it's either full or ink comes out the other end of the marker. The same chamber fills both cavities of the marker. I like to use the big flat side just so it doesn't drip to get down under the marker itself. And you 
fill it until you feel it's full. Once you feel it's full, put your caps back on. and you're ready to use your marker. So once we have our lures painted, what we want to do is use some straight Alumisol, a little bit of softener. We'll make up a clear version. We're just going to dip it in there and that'll lock all the color in. Let me show you how that works. All right. Now we have clear Alumisol. We're ready to simply dip these guys, hang them back up, and we should be in good shape. We'll let these dry, put some hooks on them, go throw them in the water, and we'll show you what they look like.